Good morning. I'm Howard Smith from Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, California Properties. And today we have invited Brian Hafner of Hafner Enterprises with us to discuss the importance of technology in the real estate world. Technology has changed terrifically in the last couple of years. More and more buyers are going on the internet doing their own research before ever even calling an agent. So Brian, thank you for joining us this morning. Well, thank you, Howard, for having me. And can you tell me what the important things are that buyers are looking for when they go onto an internet site? Right. Well, when you create an internet site, I think the first thing you want to do is kind of figure out you as the agent, what you're trying to do with it. What are you trying to promote? Because essentially it's just part of marketing. Having a site in and of itself is not going to do anything. You kind of need to have a clear message that you project and we have to define that message and then you use your website to, to project that message. What buyers are looking for, I mean, I think if you just think, what would you be looking for? People tend typically just type in Google, you know, houses for sale in San Diego or houses for sale in Talmadge. And then they tend to go from there, the things that, you know, are on the upper part of the list. I think they're basically just looking for, you know, price, pictures, stuff that's easy to start with. So I think it's important to start with like some basic text, easy to read and understand, maybe some good pictures to get them engaged. Why do you think that people have a limited knowledge about technology and feel that they can get everything that they need to know from Realtor.com or Zillow? Well, those are just kind of the big boys in the market. They do a lot of marketing and a lot of it is search engine optimization. When you type something in on Google, they're probably be, going to be some of the top hits that you get. So they tend to just go there. I mean, your own website is probably never going to rank with them, but in a very specific area, like say you focus on Talmadge, you could get to the point where if someone types in Talmadge real estate, you know, you rank highly and they would look for you. I see. Mm -hmm. And what are the things that agents should focus on in trying to get more SEO from their website? Well, I think it's important to be for example, San Diego real estate, it's very broad. I mean, probably Zillow, Realtor.com is gonna hit for that. I think it's important to, when you start, and maybe this goes contrary to what we learned, but to find a very specific niche that you can focus on, like, you know, seniors in, you know, Southern San Diego County, or, you know, very specific area, or, you know, realtors in Talmadge, so that you can focus that way and focus your keywords and marketing on that so that when someone types in Realtor Talmadge or Real Estate Talmadge, you're likely to come up on the first of the list. If you type Real Estate San Diego, it's very unlikely that you're going to come to the top of the list. But don't I want to cast my search as, as broadly as possible rather than as narrow as possible? If you've got like millions and millions of dollars to spend on marketing, like say Zillow.com or Realtor.com, that's called branding when you just try to shoot arrows in every direction and hope it hits some people and you get the name recognition most real estate agents don't have that kind of budget so what you really want to do is focus on one specific thing something that's like an inch wide and a mile deep rather than a mile wide and an inch deep thank you brian hafner brian hafner enterprises well thank you howard so much